Hey guys, Xantor Avalar here. Welcome back to Two to the Kingdom. A couple of things. Right off the bat, I will actually be wearing this to our final fight just because I feel like it's just too fitting to have the official garment for the final boss fight. Uh, I, I feel like that's it's too cliche, but at the same time, it's not what I wore in my original. I don't remember what I wore. I probably wore the Poe outfit. So I don't know if I showed the entire Poe outfit. So here, let us let me just show you the different clothing. Because one thing, first of all, is that this is my original file. So I have all the hearts as well as much as we could get. I have all stamina wheels, all three of them. All the hearts we could possibly get. I have a bunch of clothing that we have not seen before. Like, we saw this because it was part of the story anyways. But this is... Din Rawl's clothing. You would get this in the Elden region. I don't think I picked this up. The Frostbite one. Just because I was too lazy. You can tell which one's my least favorite. No, this one was actually really nice. I, I don't know why I didn't get it, but I was just too lazy. But anyways, where's the Poe outfit? I had the Twilight outfit because that was probably like the first amiibo outfit I completed. Conveniently, Twilight Princess is my favorite, but the Poe outfit. I'm pretty sure I wore this in the final fight in my first playthrough just because I really liked the design. I don't know, like this is something I would totally wear in real life, but anyways. I'm gonna go back and wear what I was originally wearing just because I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be that person to wear the official clothing. I also wanted to go ahead and change the paraglider one last time. Just because I felt like it. One final time of seeing this. We will probably never see this ever again. At least on this channel in the future. I could definitely do it all over again. The one I have right now is a Kuko fabric. I don't... <laughs> That's interesting. I don't remember changing that. I remember I had the Korok one. <laughs> I had this Lon Lon Ranch for a while. We have Majora's Mask. We have Fee. Hylian Hood. Hyrule Princess. Goddess. Uh, you know what? I don't even know which one I want. They all look cool. Ancient Sheikah. Mirror Twilight. I loved that one. That one was probably my favorite. You know what? <clears throat> the one that I wanted to have as my paraglider but never actually had the chance to get it is indeed the King of Red Lions. So I could be tempted. Robbie? Oh shoot, is this a reward that he gives us? <laughs> when we fill the compendium? I don't remember. Uh, Zora Fabric. You know what? Yeah, we're just gonna. We're just gonna do the King of Red Lions as our final paraglider fabric because I never had the chance to have this fabric. So we're doing it. Okay, we're skipping this because we've seen it too many times. Nice! I love it. Wind Waker is another personal favorite of mine. Personal favorite Zelda game. Anyways, I did say before that I definitely wanted to use this file to fight against Ganon just because I have everything. Not really everything, of course I didn't 100% this game, but I 100% a lot of things like, you know, obviously the shrines. Did all the light roots. I did the compendium, but I don't think I recorded my reaction, which is a shame. I might be tempted to record what you get as a reward in the other file but it might have been that paraglider thing i'm not sure it's the features and you could just put up like what the reward was for 100 percenting the compendium but anyways we're just gonna go ahead finish the story destroy ganon he is in the depths except how did you expect me to go over there oh like this <laughs> 
I even have a travel medallion over there. Where does this one take me? If you could take me right before the boss fight, that would that would be just hilarious. Because that means I don't even need to go through the dungeon. That's pretty bad though. Oh my god, you did put me right before the fight. Okay, well, um I wasn't expecting that. I should have checked this before. <laughs> I don't know why I put this here, but maybe I put it here because I knew that I wanted to come back here for a future recording, but that's hilarious that I put it right there. Okay. No. We're going to go ahead and kind of play how it was intended to. Whoa, the texture was kind of weird. I don't know why I'm picking this up, man. Where are my avatars? I will summon all of them just because I feel like that was in that was intended. Alright guys, you ready? <clears throat> Still coughing. I wish you could just go away. Why am I even picking them up? I don't know. It just bothers me. Okay. We're just gonna go right into it, I guess. You ready? We're falling. I mean, I think the intended way of just going down here is just get to Hyrule Castle and just fall. In here. We are at Gloom's approach. Um, this is gonna be kind of weird, actually. Because... Whoa, we're... Oh, here. Because are the stuff that I did before just oh, the music is going to haunt me forever. <laughs> okay, screw it. all the enemies right now. Um, I can't be bothered to fight them. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh, Shiza, 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 Zuna hits me. Whoa. Oh. oh, man, you almost hit me. Okay, that was a thing. This is gonna be annoying, actually. Oh, it was you. It was you that was... You bitch asses. Have at me. Oh shit. Where did you come from? Did you fall from. Whoa. Man, there's too many of you. Oh! oh Jesus. Maybe I'll just get up there. Okay, this is the messiest thing I've ever done. Where did you go? Why do you keep running away? Ah, you bitch! Get over here. I'm killing you, whether you like it or not. <laughs> that was funny. Get me up! I was not expecting you to be a bunch of you guys over here. I thought it was just going to be two of you. Jesus. <laughs> Are you serious right now? Or how about I just not? What did I just break? It was it my bow? I guess it was. I guess we're fighting a Lionel again. This might take a while. I might just consider eating some attack up food. Attack two. 
Man, I should have made more. Oh. Man, you guys are distracting me. There's way too many bodies over here. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. You can... It's distracting. Ah, oh. oh, dang it. I'm not very good at dodging that one. Or that one. <laughs> oh! Nope! I wasn't ready for that. Oh. Oh, there we go. Mwahaha. Really? I cannot carry any more shields? I might consider just dropping my Hylian, but at the same time, why would I? Screw it all. I don't, I don't need it. Uh... Where am I even going right now? Oh, up there? This might be the time to use a rocket. Good thing I have that. I don't know why I have that. Like a bunch of rockets in my inventory. In my shield inventory, I mean. I might consider just putting on my hood just for more defense. Whoa! Uh, no. Uh, too many buttons. Here. Whoa! Okay. That, that was... That was fine. I am so confused where I need to go. Oh shit. I was trying to avoid it. What? Oh, you bitch asses. Oh, are you serious? Oh, he ate me. Is that our first time getting eaten? You know what? That might. Uh, that, that's worth showing. Uh, goodbye. Ooh. No, no, you don't. What? Oh, that's right. Yeah, once you get deeper in here, your avatars. They will no longer be with you, which is very unfortunate. Even though it says they're with you, but they're technically not. Oh shit. I did not notice you. I guess you're dying. I guess you're dying! With my ice. <clears throat> ah shit. If you could just, uh... Get your ass over here. Uh, thank you. I might consider taking that. Yeah, thanks. We do have a bit of weapons just in case if you needed it, but as far as I'm concerned, I don't. Yeah, I can't even take it, which is a shame. 
we have this for some odd reason. I don't know why. But you know what? I'm gonna fuse another rocket just because. And you wasted it, you mother. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious that you did that. I'm actually not gonna bother. Wait, okay. Okay, you're telling me to go over here. Holy mother fricker! You scare the crap out of me. Don't do that. You know what? That's. Oh my lord. I don't have talent! I don't have talent! Oh, and you gave me that too. Oh, nope, 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 nope. You are not getting me. Aha, uh -huh, you can't reach me. Can't reach me. Goodbye, I'm not fighting you either. <gasps> Much danger. Are we here already? You see, you see what I mean in the last episode is that it didn't take long to get here. <laughs> oh, okay. So you remember this place? This is where we were in the beginning of the game. So welcome back, I guess. Hi. Oh, shit. I haven't fought in so long that I'm just forgetting everything that... <laughs> Give me this. I can't carry it! What are we dropping? Here, drop the feather one. Please, I hate you guys with a passion. Oh, you already did. Okay. <laughs> I find it hilarious, actually. Oh, you're giving me a bunch of goodies. I'll take it. Eighteen minutes. That is how long we've been recording now. That didn't take me long at all, so maybe this will be just one long episode, I suppose. We're back here, where Zelda was telling that story. You remember the place where there was a bombable wall? This is where it was, and it had Zelda and the sword. And then the light dragon. That's what was blocking. With those rocks in the beginning. I don't know if you remember. It's such a shame that... Maybe it would have been better if I just used my other file, but it's too late now. Oh, we're already here. <laughs> I don't really feel like going into my other file now. We're already so deep in here. Uh-uh. Imprisoning chamber. What are we, uh... <laughs> is this where my travel medallion is now? Yes, it is. I think so. Like I said before, we could have um, taken the travel medallion, but uh, that would have been too easy. I kind of wanted to show you how it was kind of intended to get over here. <laughs> here we are again. So why it took, took... Actually, even though it says, yeah, 20 minutes that I've been recording, that's not true. 
because I spent a couple of minutes in the beginning, like, doing whatever. So maybe that just took me 15 minutes, I almost want to say. Which is not long at all, which is really weird as a final dungeon. Why would it only take that much? Here we go, guys. Here we are. I love it, I love it, I love it. This is gonna be a pain. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Can I attach something to my master sword? <laughs> Just curious. I am way too curious. They're just like, what the frick are you doing, Link? Did I drop it? <clears throat> yeah, you guys uh, protect me, please. This is funny. No, let me, uh... Oh, I did! Ooh. I'm a bit rusty, not gonna lie. Wait, am I crouching? Oh. It's such a shame that I can't see their HP. That would have been nice. Oh, you know what? Oh, I'm gonna pick up your drops. Ow. Anyone else? Want a piece of me? Get your ass over here. Man, all y'all are weak. Oh man, you're awesome. Are we done? No, probably not. <laughs> All right, I forgot this was like this. That was fast. Whoa! Get your ass over there. scared the crap out of me. I hate you guys. Oh, nice. Nice, you guys. Oh. Ah, damn. Ew. The gross ones. Trash yeah. over here. Ew. Whoa, you nasty ass. Crap. Man. 
Hang on, hang on, hang on. You guys wanna? You wanna go? That's so gross. I hate them. Can you uh, replenish your ice, ice baby? Are you guys done? Put that out. Oh, I, I didn't mean to take care of water. Whoa. It broke. Oh my goodness, there's too much going on. All of this. Oh my god. Actually, I'm assuming I just go forward. And they stay behind. You tell them! You tell that asshole! Oh, my friends! It's so hard to leave you behind, though. The last time I did that... You know, all my friends died. My champion friends. It's too hard of a sight to see. I'm sorry for talking over the cutscene like that. It's just... <laughs> I totally forgot how epic it was. Ew. Eh? <laughs> Shin no 
復活とその世界の始まりよ Hey, dude, I honestly want to ask, how do, how do you even fight with all that jewelry on you? Like that, all the, that necklace, the, just the stuff on his hands. How? I feel like that would just be so distracting to me. How come I can't jump? There we go, you dumbass. Uh. Right? I'm I'm being genuine. Is there anyone out there that thinks that fighting with all that stuff on you is like epic? Because that's kind of weird, in my opinion. Oh dear! Oh, you almost got me. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, you know what? You might want to, um... Oh, that's just gloom resistance. Oh, this ain't good. <laughs> we only have this much hearts left, so you better watch out, man. Oh, shoot. Oh! Uh, can I just... Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that's phase one, so you should have expected that. <laughs> Master of the Secret Stone. You are no such thing, man. Shiza. Oh, you almost ran into that man. Uh oh, welcome back. I just noticed his HP was like way over the top. Oh shoot. Uh Oh, you might want to get another shield. <laughs> what did you suck at jumping? Oh, that was. You shouldn't jump backward. You should have jumped to the side. so funny to see him jumping to the side like that. No, you jump to the side, man. It's kind of epic that he actually fury rushes you too. It's pretty trippy, but it's actually kind of epic. Oh. 
Don't taunt me. How dare you. Jump, Link. <laughs> what? Oh, what the? Oh! I wasn't expecting you to do that. Ah, oh, damn. Huh? Let's forget how this goes. This might end badly. Uh. Bitch! Will you get over here? Whoa. Man, he's just going through my shields, even though they're Hylian? Oh, I got him! Uh. Oh! Oh, you almost got me, though. Uh. Ah, oh, man. You don't jump in time. Uh. How the frick did you reach me? It's his own. It probably has a homing effect. Oh, you did it vertically. Oh, you did it. I can't predict if he's gonna do it vertically or horizontally. That's how bad I am. Ow. Damn. Oh, Sidon, how dare you step on him! Ah, <laughs> uh, he did it vertically. How do I tell if he's doing it vertically or not? Oh, I did it. Ow. Come here.
god, Link. And look who it is! <laughs> oh. Here she is. guys oh Jesus fourth and final phase demon dragon Joe draconified demon king Zelda will be helping you in this fight what we need to do is you can barely see it I even my camera can't even focus on it Sheesh. There are these points on his back. Oh, come on. Oh, you you healed me. I'm not in the gloom anymore, so I can eat food. There are some parts on his back that has like these germ looking things. We just have to destroy it. I don't really know how I'm supposed to destroy it. I'm just assuming with anything. I guess? Can I even touch him? Oh? Yeah, I can. Oh, but he throws you off. Huh. I think Zelda is already programmed in a way that she'll automatically catch you. Yeah, like that. And then... She will automatically fly up above where you're always going to be above Ganon. We get that part, we just need to get the rest of them. It's not really that difficult. He has these fireballs, but like, really? <laughs> it's not really that much of a threat. Oh, you didn't kill me. Okay. Thanks for that. Whoa! Zelda. Catch me if you can! This is pretty epic though. I do like this. This is awesome. That would have been so cool if the other dragons just came over here and fought with you, but no. It's just gonna be Zelda, Dinral, Farosh, and Nadra are not gonna come and help you. It's okay though. At least Zelda's here. <laughs> and you gotta admit, Dragon Ganon looks pretty epic. You cannot deny it. It'd be so cool to see what Link would look like as a dragon. Ooh. It's so gross! How about them dragon parts though? Can I get some of his parts? His scale? His claw? His talon? Oh, that's the same thing. But his fang, I mean. 
What else? His horn? Can I steal them? All right. Oh, dude, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah, stupid. How, did, how can you get caught by those, though? Where is, um... Tullin when you need him? <laughs> Please don't hit me. Oh man, I missed. Whee! Oh man, the world looks really red. <laughs> oh! She caught me. Uh. Ugh, the camera is just, uh. Oh dear. We're gonna have our own moment of would you just die already? Like in near? Would you just die already? You just die already. Oh my god! I genuinely forgot he exploded like that. I, I, I was... I don't know what I expected. And with that, we destroyed Ganon once and for all.
man, this throwback to Skyward Sword. Wasn't expecting it, but I am so glad to see it. Nothing else to do but die for Zelda. And reach for her. And save her once and for all. How the hell did I survive that? Seriously. That sound effect. One of the best sound effects I've actually ever heard in a video game. And that's that. End of Tears of the Kingdom. That was quite the journey. I can't really begin, honestly. Sorry, just listening to the music. I really do love the soundtrack in this game. It's nice to hear it again. Man. Honestly. Breath of the Wild didn't really feel like 
it was that long ago. So then when we finally got the news of the sequel, I thought it would never come. Because Breath of the Wild was what, in 2017? Tears of the Kingdom was finally in 2023. It was worth it though. I wanted so desperately to play this sooner, but when you really think about it, the more time the developers work on a game, the better it will become. So like you can never rush these things. And I'm super satisfied and glad of how it turned out. I have my fair share of complaints about the game, but overall, it really is a good game. Oh, that's cute. It's nice to see these pictures too. All the wonderful names of all the people that were involved in this project. I loved every second of it. I hope that you guys did. It was one heck of a train ride, honestly, because I started out playing this blind and I felt like, nah, I didn't really want to do that. I want to go ahead and play this game with prior knowledge as well what I like to do with any game. It was a bit much at some moments, but there are a lot of happy and memorable moments that I enjoyed in this playthrough. I'm glad to have shared it with all of you guys, and I appreciate every single one of you that actually stuck around to see everything. Good. I forgot how nice this song is. I think I wrote in the description in the previous episode that this game, Tears of the Kingdom, was actually one of the nominees for Game of the Year of 2023. It didn't win, but just being one of the nominees, I think that's already really impressive. It did get the award for Best Action and Adventure Game. I was kind of surprised because there's... Out of all the games that came out, I really wasn't expecting Tears of the Kingdom to win that award because they're... You know, other games that I thought was kind of worthy too, like Final Fantasy 16. I don't know if that was a nominee for that one, but that Final Fantasy 16 is a really good game in my opinion. The music in that one. I think Final Fantasy did get the award for best like score soundtrack. It deserved it. The soundtrack in that game was just phenomenal. That's anything that's always with Final Fantasy games. The soundtrack in that series is just Phenomenal. During my school days, I would often listen to Final Fantasy the most out of any video game soundtrack. It always stuck out to me. I was never the biggest fan of Final Fantasy, the, like even before 16 for the PS5. The previous, the last Final Fantasy game I played was like when it was super pixelated on the PlayStation 2. So that's how much I don't really know much about Final Fantasy. I just know that the music in those games is one of the best in existence. But this game, Jesus of the Kingdom, has its fair share of really good soundtrack. Even if it's, you think it's not much, it's the fact that because it's not much of a soundtrack, like subtle piano here and there, it symbolizes the game very well. It's just so nice to hear that piano. Well, for those of you who are wondering, am I going to 100% this game? Well, no, sorry, I am not. I just cannot deal with those Koroks. Everything else, um, like with the, si the side quests, I don't think so because most of it, I feel like there's no point in me completing it because as I said before I think in the last episode again a lot of the side quests that you encounter is because if you didn't have the amiibo you would be able to get it from the side quest in the game but I already have the amiibo so I'm not gonna bother but maybe in the future I could 
just do the side quest in my own time. I don't think I will show it. <coughs> I did the most that I could, I think, with the shrines. I did get all the shrines. I do have a bonus content at the very end to show you what the reward is to get all shrines. All 152? Is it 152 shrines? I don't remember. I think it's somewhere around there. There is a reward for all light roots. There is a reward for the compendium, but I don't know if I've... I said before, I don't think I recorded my reaction, so I could just show you uh, on the screen of what the reward was. Maybe I could show you what the signpost guy gives you? I think I did see a video of what you get as a reward for doing all those Hudson signs, but it's just another one of those meh rewards. But it's nice to have bragging rights, you know, when you completed a lot of things in this game. It's a really big game. It's to be expected. That sound, I swear to God. It really creeps me out, but I'm fascinated at the same time. Let's just listen to the soundtrack for a little bit. Whoa, that drop! Oh, and all the handshakes! It was super cool to, once again, have that throwback to the sages. You know, like an ocarina of time. Having our own Raru in this game was pretty surprising. I wasn't expecting a throwback to that in here. It was really cool to see though. Man, I'm really hoping that maybe in the future they could put the Ocarina of Time remastered on the Switch. I know they have the N64 version like on the emulator on the Switch if you had the Nintendo Online. Maybe I could consider let's playing that in the future, but for now I don't know. It's hard to say what I want to do after this. Oh, there he is. And there he is. Man, that part creeped me out, man. Well, was it really necessary to just put his whole hand into his mouth? Jesus. Trauma. Too much trauma in this game. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Whoa, that build up. Honestly, I didn't give Zelda enough credit for her role in this game. She had quite the heavy burden that she had to carry. Becoming, like being cursed of being an immortal and having to carry the weight of restoring the sword just for someone else, it's not easy. Her resolve was pretty phenomenal. Oh, here we go. あなた方
ここに連れてくることができてよかったここからハイラルのすべてを見てもらいたかったのですわあ僕こんな高いとこ初めてごろああ素晴らしい景色だゼルダはずっとこの空にいたのだなええ覚えてはいないのですがもう一度ここに立てるとは思っていませんでしたこれは推論にすぎませんがラウルの光とソニアの時の力二人がリンクに力を貸して奇跡を起こしたのかもしれません時が来たようですミネル様はるか昔私たちが先の時代に委ねてしまった災いはあなた方が払ってくれましたこれで私もラウルたちのもとへ行くことができますソニアにも伝えましょうミデル様あなたの思いもあの二人のもとに様ソニア様ミネル様そして古代の賢者たちあの方たちが願ったのはつかの間ではなく永遠に続くハイラルの安寧私はその思いに応えたい。これからもずっと。みんな力を貸してください。私に。
And that was the very end. Sorry that my controller uh, kind of stopped working there. <laughs> it went on for quite a while without me moving, the, having to move the controller. That's why it kind of dimmed. <laughs> I was like, oh no! Slightly panicked. But yeah. That's that, you guys. Of course, when you go back into the game, it's as if none of that happened. <laughs> Because that's how Zelda games are. They're always going to leave you right before the final fight. But. We're done with that. I'd also like to give you. A close look. At the entire. Map of the depths. I for sure was not going to do it. In the other file. But. It's nice to see it completed though. Here are all the Bargainer statues. I don't think I ever showed it <coughs> in the other playthrough, but you see these stamps right here? These are all the stamps that I put that had a bunch of bombs. So when I need a bunch of bombs, I would just go in this area and just mine for them. Mine for them? Grind for them. <laughs> but yeah, that's what all those stamps are. We've got our main map. We've already seen it, but you know, here we have destroyed Ganondorf, but we're we already did that. We're not gonna do it again. Maybe in the future, ten years from now, maybe I'll play this game again. I don't know. Maybe I could play Breath of the Wild far into the future too, because I have not shown that on my playthrough. Uh, on my playthrough, on my channel. But yeah, when I first played Breath of the Wild, I played it on the Wii U. I do have it on the Switch, but I actually never finished it on the Switch, so that could be an experience. Oh, thank you for healing me. I'm surprised I did not die. Uh, I mean, I, I probably have fairies anyways. But, that is that, you guys. This is the end. Of our train ride. Thank you everyone so much. For hanging through this entire playthrough. I don't... Words cannot express how grateful I am for every single one of you that actually did stick around. And see my shenanigans of a playthrough this was. Is this the end? I'd like it to be. If I have anything to show in the future... It will just be labeled bonus parts or extra oh you guys scared the hell out of me <laughs> extra parts or bonus parts i do have a couple of extra parts on this playthrough that i thought wasn't really necessary to watch but if you did watch them thank you very much but yeah that's the end of that it's not the complete end because my my lovely editor which is me the feature Zan, my lovely editor, is going to show you a couple of extra stuff that I'd like to add. Anyways, let's go ahead and watch them, shall we? Have fun in the bonus content, and I'll see you guys with much more in the future. Thank you once again. See you guys then. Okay, guys, this is, uh, this is going to be a very interesting recording. This is, I'm going to be recording just like this little bit. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to put this in any of my parts, but I wanted to show it because I for sure am not going to show it with my other playthrough. So what I've done is I'm currently playing on my original file where I have everything. You can even see all of my hearts, all of my stamina. I have, I, I don't have any everything in the game, obviously. But what I've done for the past few days, what, what, what day is it actually? Today is August 13, 2023. I finished all of the shrines. I got all hearts that you can obtain and all the stamina you could get. Or if you want 
wanted to get full hearts and then just some stamina and not the full three wheels you could do that too but you're always going to be missing some you're going to always be missing some hearts or either stamina because they, they're, they're rude like that they don't want to give you everything so i just completed all the shrines and in the last shrine that you do i can even show you like what they said sorry that i didn't show this but uh, anyways they they would say something like this is the final light of blessing and then make your way to the temple of time there you shall find a suitable reward for your efforts so this is something that i have not seen before obviously and i wanted to show this because i'm not gonna do this a second time that's way too much so here here's like a completed map you guys got all the shrines including the ones in the sky islands so you remember how before i said that the light roots are connected to the shrine on the surface that doesn't mean that you you got every single shrine because there's some in the islands like it's a pretty chunky amount well maybe not chunky but it's, it's a pretty decent amount of shrines in the sky that you gotta get so all the shrines on the surface all the shrines on the sky so we're gonna make our way to the temple of time and this one the shrine explorer although when they say temple of time um Okay, so they do mean the one in the sky. I was wondering. Because obviously we have the Temple of Time on the um, the Great Plateau. Like here. There's a Temple of Time here too. But um, obviously that's not the actual important Temple of Time in this game. It's the one in the sky. So we're going to go ahead and make our way there. I have not seen this before. And I wanted to show you guys pretty much my blind reaction to it i'm assuming it's clothing because in breath of the wild if you finish all the shrines all 120 i think there's 120 shrines in breath of the wild but you got uh clothing so i'm just gonna assume they're gonna do the same thing so let's just see what it is shall we i don't know what it is we should see what it may be. I'm not really gonna get myself too excited because I feel like I'm not gonna be that impressed. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't mean to be so pessimistic, but at this point in the game, I don't really know what they could give me that would make me feel like, oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> Ooh, I succeeded. Usually I don't dodge them that well. Okay, give me your goods. Thank you. Alright. Let's see what it is. It's been a while since I've been here. I don't know the last time I've... ...been in here. Pretty much... ...as soon as we left, right? To go to the surface. Other than that, we have not been back here. Slowly but surely. Uh, sorry for that sudden interruption. Uh, my sister went into my room and gave me a drink because they bought some boba. Anyways. Oh, it's right behind. <laughs> I was about to pray, being like, like, are you going to give it to me like this? But no, uh, I guess this is it. You guys ready? Because I don't know what to expect. I'm pretty sure it's clothing. I don't know what else they would give me. <laughs> yep. Wait. Ancient hero's aspect. This item is said to contain the spirit of a hero who once saved Hyrule. The hero's aura will envelop the wearer. Uh. Whoa! Wait, okay, I'm actually kind of impressed. <laughs> what the? I, I was not expecting to completely change. What the heck? We even have a tail! Wait, can I... Can I... I, I want to see, like... Dude! We changed completely! What the heck? 
I thought I was gonna look like... Oh, you see this? This is like the other Zonite clothing that you would wear. I don't have the pants. I need to go out and find it. But I thought it was gonna look similar to this. But no, we changed... We changed completely. Like as if we're a different race altogether. Wait. Hang on. Are we able to upgrade this? Like at the ferry? Okay, you know what? Uh, let's do this. We're gonna show this because I, I'm curious. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I thought it was just gonna be a mask. I wasn't expecting the entire outfit in one. That's actually pretty cool. Did we even have such a thing in Breath of the Wild? I can't recall. Uh, what is different? Like, am I, am I, can I wield like, I don't know, super ultra <laughs> Zonite ability? Okay, uh, I don't know if I can upgrade this because if I can, that's kind of disappointing. But at the same time, we have a bunch of hearts, you know, you could deal with a bunch of damage, maybe. Watch it be like a hundred zone. I don't know. Can I upgrade this? Is it possible? It's possible! Dude, 12 is like the highest, isn't it? When you get the leathered one, that it's not, the first one's only eight, isn't it? That's super OP. Oh my god. Dude, I don't have Hinox guts, but we're gonna go freaking find some. That's amazing! Okay, anyways, that's all I wanted to show in this particular um, <laughs> segment. I don't know where I'm gonna put this, but dude, that's that is just amazing. But isn't there like a perk to it though? Like what what exactly does it do? Because I like I already read the description, but Besides changing my appearance, is there like something that special that it does? Let me look it up. Here's the kingdom, ancient heroes aspect. The perk, like what does it do? Dang, you gotta do a lot of stuff in order to upgrade this. You pretty much need like... Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> Like the first one, you need the the Hinox guts, silver bull codlin horn, of course the Zonite. But you need like frog guts for the other ones, silver moblin horn, Molduga guts, silver Lizalfo's horn, and then the Gliak guts, and then the Lionel horns. That's a lot. <laughs> but what does it do? Does it like do something specific? Oh, it says upgrading the ancient hero's aspect will also unlock the master sword beam up set bonus. So it just strengthens the beam attack of the master sword. That's a... <laughs> I mean, that's not really like um, mind boggling. I thought it would maybe... I don't know. I have no idea. I, I don't know what I was expecting. But it had maybe something to do with the... The Zonite... Builds or something. I guess that's what... This... Armor is for. That That's... This is like the... If you put it on, it says like energy up. Which... um, I'm assuming it means it doesn't consume your energy... Um, that much. Compared to how you normally... Play. but yeah the, there we go there we go you guys that's what you get when you do all 152 shrines of tears of the kingdom as of right now you know so far i don't know any news about potential future dlc if there's any more gonna be any more shrines or whatnot but as of right now there's 152 shrines and it's a lot of work although what I did in order to complete all shrines 
I actually completed my depth map 100% even before doing all the shrines because as I said before the light root and the shrines you know they're basically one if you see all of the light roots on the depths you will definitely know like what you're missing on the surface however that's not the same with the sky it's completely different for me I don't really think it was that difficult to figure out like where the shrines are like there's not that many places that you have to go to in the sky like there's like other places like this that looks like these are I think arenas with like the king gliok I don't know if I I don't know if I showed that and I don't know <laughs> if I will in the future but yeah you can pretty much already tell like where specifically the shrines would be some of the places in the sky are already places that you need to go to because of the story like the temples and it's pretty much trial and error like what you know what I did I just for any places that I didn't go to or I didn't see a shrine I just marked it and assumed that there was a shrine gonna be over there so there's that <laughs> but yep I wanted to go ahead and show that because I for sure am not gonna do it a second time so that's what you get when you complete all 152 shrines that's pretty cool we look so weird though but so cool at the same time it's like we're not even Link! <laughs> we're a completely different person, that's why. But it's pretty cool though. The very interesting shoes too. It kind of looks like our toes are like just out there though. <laughs> well, there you go guys. Hope you enjoyed that little segment of wherever I'm going to put it. Maybe like in the finale part. But yep. Dude, you guys. I am just now realizing that this whole time I was missing this random light root right here. And I never knew that because it was so small. Like you can before I, I kind of activated this light root, you know, when the yellow a square wasn't here i never noticed that it wasn't filled in because it's so small compared to the complete map but when you zoomed in you can obviously see that it's not actually filled in and i never actually noticed that i this was the one light route i was missing this whole time and it's in a place where you can only get to it if you fall in a specific spot like you can see this chasm right here but it's not actually like on top of the land it's actually in a cave on the side over here i had to look it up because i had no idea how to get into this so you remember how i said like if it's if there's a place that's surrounded by a river on the surface that means it's surrounded by a wall so there's literally no other way to get to this place other than this little chasm that you had to find in the cave so the reason why I'm showing this is because maybe, maybe you get something once you complete all of the light routes. So I believe there's a total of 120 light routes in the depths because that's what it said on the loading screen. I had 119 and it just occurred to me when I was on this file thinking, why is my light route count? odd like that 119 and that's when i realized dude there's this one right here that i'm missing so we're gonna activate this because this whole time i thought you got nothing but apparently i was missing one and let's just see if the game will give me something so let's activate the final one shall we I don't know why I'm watching this, really. <laughs> That's the last of them. Alright, do you give me something? Oh my god! You found every light route. They have dispelled all of the darkness. The frick is this? Dispelling darkness metal? 
An award for one who has conquered the darkness by lighting up every light root. This special item commemorates blessings received. I'm going to take a picture of this and <laughs> brag about it everywhere. So it's just an award, right? There's, I'm assuming I can't do anything with it. <laughs> okay, I guess. Yeah, I can't really interact with it. <laughs> well, uh, there you go, guys. That's what you get for activating all the light roots, which is very interesting. I This whole time I thought I got all of them, but no. It was finally <laughs> when I realized in the loading screen that the light root count was 119. I was like, what? Why, why is it such an odd number? And there's a, a frogs over here called a blue white frog. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. This is the only one that I see in the depths in this particular area. I don't know, but I don't feel like fighting him. Anyways, yeah, I wanted to show that because I have never seen that before. Obviously, because I thought this whole time I got everything, but we did not. So there you go, guys. That's what you get for getting all the light roots. So I don't know where I'm going to put this in my Let's Play, but it could be just... <laughs> One of the bonus videos. I'm like really tempted to actually do everything. To literally do 100% of this game because... I mean the Koroks are holding me back. Because I never did it in Breath of the Wild, I'm really considering doing it in Tears of the Kingdom. Even though it's a lot more. But you know... I mean it's doable if you're looking up a guide for it. It's not like you're gonna go crazy looking it for yourself. I'm not gonna do that. I could be tempted to. It's probably the same thing that you get in Breath of the Wild. But you know, I never got it in Breath of the Wild. So I I'm really considering getting it into the kingdom. Because I really want to actually finish this game. Other things like... The the sign dude. You know the, the guy that holds up the Hudson sign? I'm assuming he gives you something too. Maybe the bubblegum guy gives you something. If he did all the caves. There's a lot of things in which there's a specific count for and it makes me think, oh, am I going to get more stuff if I complete everything? So yeah, there's that. Here's one of the many things that I have completed. So the first thing that I completed was the shrines, which is what I'm wearing right now. This is the reward. I will be showing that reaction video. Probably I showed it right before this. And then that this reward is what you get for all the light roots. So I got two of them. So let's just see if I would consider getting the rest of the things that's worth showing. I don't know by doing 100%. We'll see. Anyways, thanks for watching, I guess. <laughs> Not really something that's too exciting, but very interesting that I've totally missed that. But yep, there you go, guys. See you guys then.